to death in Brixton. Sheesh. RP. So recently some updates have came out surrounding the murder of Tyrell Davis Emmons, more known as TM One Way. You guys might remember that I covered this story when it dropped nearly a year ago to the date, but if you don't know, TM One Way is also 21 Savage's brother, because remember 21 Savage was originally from the UK until he relocated to the United States. But I was surprised that there wasn't much coverage surrounding this case, and all we have is a report from the Metropolitan Police and a report from The Sun, which has since been reposted by a couple of other news websites. To be fair, the story was fair. So 20, hey, follow the kick too. I'm going to post this on YouTube, but I know I'm about to be asking y'all some questions. And I know um, I'm asking y'all on kick the questions. So this is bro, his brother rap too? His brother was rapping all this time before he died? Somebody let me know, man fairly big when it went down so I'm unsure as why the mainstream media hasn't picked up on it. Either way, let's get into this one and go through the update. That's crazy. He was rapping. That's crazy. That's crazy. He was rapping. That's crazy. 21, come on bro that have came out of this story. So on the 22nd of November 2020 at roughly 5.50 p.m. Tarot had been walking through the Blenheim Gardens estate near to communal gardens at the rear of Ramilly's Close after going shopping for his grandma. CCTV that hasn't been released to the public then shows Tarot walking towards... Yeah, I don't know, feel me? I don't really... I like 21 Savage, he fired. I don't really like follow him or keep up with him. Like I don't watch none of his Instagram, none of that. I like his music. He fire. He definitely can rap. Definitely super fire. But damn, your brother in the UK he rapping, nigga. Yeah, you could have been sharing his music, doing features or something before the nigga. I don't know if they probably fell out before he died or something. But he rap. That's your brother, bro. Like I got three brothers, bro. Like ain't no way in hell. Like you feel me, like. I don't give a fuck if you across the country, like, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you in a whole nother country. I never heard of his brother, like, until I started doing UK shit. So, I, I mean, I don't really follow him to see if he posted him when he died and I shit. I didn't know he had a brother until he died. Yeah, so that's crazy. He said he regretted not getting closer to him on the IG post. Yeah, that's corny, nigga. Fuck out of here. I just saw that picture of them when they was little niggas, too. <laughs> Yeah, nigga. Once I would have seen my brother drop his first song, because you know, mm -hmm. you're not going to not know your brother rapping, nigga. Facts. Nigga, as soon as my brother, I would have saw the first video my brother dropped, nigga, I would have been sharing it. Yo, look, nigga, here. Yeah, Send him 100 me. features, nigga. Now you pull up on me, nigga. Send him 100 features. Yeah, nigga. Don't make, put me on these songs with you, nigga. You going to, yeah. yeah, I'm lit, nigga. He need the top artist. He one of the top artists over here. I would have automatically put light on son. Like, I don't know. CCTV that hasn't been released to the public then shows Tyrell walking towards crazy, the location dude. of another man by the name of Tyrese Fuller. Around the time Tyrell had been walking to his location, Tyrese would go inside a property on Ramilly's clothes and made a swift return. CCTV then captures Tyrese putting something into his pocket or waistband as he left the property. The two are then captured approaching each other. When they meet, Tyrell is described as bear-hugging Tyrese going on to punch him. From here, an altercation would break out between the pair, where both men brandished knives at each other. They lunged at one another, but didn't make contact, and then out of nowhere, a third man, a member of the public, would step in bravely and separate the two. Tensions then calm, both are seen putting their weapons away, and the and then out of nowhere, a third man, a member of the public, would step in bravely and separate the two. Tensions then calm, both are seen putting their weapons away, and the pair separate, going in opposite directions, although they did continue to shout at one another. But while this is happening, the third man is continuing to tell them to go away, keep it moving, this is not worth it. But out of nowhere, Tyrese pulls his Rambo knife once again, would go on to stab Tyrell once in the chest, before running away to Prague Police. The blade had been plunged four inches into his chest, Damn. penetrating his heart. CCTV would then capture Tyrell lifting up his shirt, looking at his chest, 
before immediately losing consciousness and falling face first into a bush. Emergency services only arrived seconds later because they had been alerted about the knives being pulled prior to the stabbing, but despite the best efforts of emergency services, both police and paramedics, Terrell would go on to be pronounced dead at around 6.39pm. After fleeing the scene, Tyrese disposed of the blade and his phone, which until this day are still yet to be recovered. But two days after the incident, he would go on to be arrested in connection with the investigation, but was initially released under investigation. On the 26th of November, however, police executed a search warrant at a property on Ramadi's Close, here that CCTV footage that I've been explaining to you that had captured this whole incident was recovered and from there Tyrese was re-arrested and later charged with murder. After denying the charges that were brought against him he would go on trial at Inner London Crown Court with the only details coming from this case is that Tyrese had no prior convictions to this and he had in his own words owed Tyrell an £800 gambling debt. It was also said that Tyrell had previously made threats towards him and of course this is why that confrontation took place. After the trial had come to a close though the jury found him not guilty on the murder charge and he was given the lesser charge of manslaughter. He had also been found guilty for possession of an offensive weapon. For these charges, he was handed a 10-year and 3-year prison sentence, which are to run concurrent of each other, which basically means he'll serve that 3 years as a part of his 10, so in reality he's going to be serving a 10-year prison sentence. The reasoning why the jury found him guilty on the manslaughter charge rather than the murder charge is because they accepted that Tyrese had been threatened by Tyrell, I'm guessing after he engaged with him first, bear-hugging him and then punching him. But he didn't beat the case on the grounds of self-defense because he wasn't in imminent danger after that member of the public had split them up and then of course he went back to go and stab him. But this sadly is another incident where someone has gone on to lose their life over material things. A lot of the times it is money and just like today's story once again <coughs> it is seemingly over money from what we can gather from the reports. Now we can't say that is for 100% fact because again we don't have in-depth details of the trial but that is what's being said that it was over a £800 gambling debt and is it right for you to take someone's life over £800? It's never right to take anyone's life but over £800 is just not worth it because at the end of the day we have to remember in these cases that and I think a lot of people don't realise is that the families that are affected by these situations, this lasts with them for quite literally a lifetime. The pain never really goes. He owed 21 Savage brother. Yeah, some other nigga did it, but it just fucked up. Yeah, it just fucked up, bro. It's fucked up that you had to go like that. Like, your brother was like, I don't, yeah, listen, man. I don't know. I'm off this, this, this shit got me kind of tight with 21.